anyway. I present to you, Kaiser Redux. Project Safe Channel, we're going all in. I remember that Kaiser Redux is very, very meme -y. There's like aliens landing, the Emperor of Mankind is happening, a nuclear holocaust happens, stuff like that, man. I'm just gonna play normal, okay? Getting into Kaiser Redux, and I am playing Alexander von Falkenhausen, representing the AOG, which is the, the Allgemeine Ost. Asian Gesellschaft. Let's get right into it. I am an integrated pop of the German Empire. I'm part of the Aufsichtsrat, the Ostasiatische Aufsichtsrat. I'm in the Reichspakt, which I own nothing. I'm the most broken fuck. I have Guangzhou, Xiamen, Wenzhou, Nangdong, and Qingdao. That's all I have, dude. Following the Qing victory over the Fengtiang government, the Germany, together with the East China Association, sought to take advantage of its now dominant position. As a result of a few major deals with the League of Eight Provinces, Germany was able to carve out a semi-official group of territorial concessions, which was to be known as the Aufsichtsrat der Ostasiatischen Generalverwaltung. Industrial advancement. Due to the influx of major German companies such as Krupp and Hapak, and the presence of already established German companies such as the Shandong Railway Company and the German Asian Bank, the AOG is, compared to most of China, very industrialized, which pretty much just means 5% more efficiency growth. Not that big. Due to a general unwillingness by the native Chinese to help defend the AOG alongside the limited manpower of the East Asian detachment, we have been forced to pay the locals to join the Polizeitruppe. Oh, the, they don't want to join me, so I have to pay them. And colonial possessions. Despite its autonomy in dealing with Chinese warlords and other local authorities, the AOG is a set of semi-legal concessions on the German administration. Its entire governing apparatus is dependent on German power. Okay. One Sith man epic. Let us take a look at the Kaiser Redux focus fee of the AOGOC. That one day hasn't happened yet, so I have only one choice actually, which is the Deutsche Asiatische Armee. Our army might be a small one, or maybe not even existent, but it's a powerful one. Some may be unwilling to serve. We can convince the people of the concessions to fight for us through Fink and Tin. Wait, I just got an army. Holy shit! Talk about the devil! And he shot a pair! What's the template of these fuckers? Probably very different, huh? Uh, pretty basic stuff. China and the AOG. The Fatherland's Chinese possessions also lie under our jurisdiction. And as per the terms of the American-mediated Shanghai Conference of 1928, Germany's right and China are equal to those of any other foreign power. The city of Qingdao. Qingdao makes a good beer in China, everybody likes that has long served as the nexus of our operations there. At once a modern city, a thriving port at the center of extensive commercial web movement through the east. Not everything passing through Piaochov Bay is fully legitimate, however. No, no, no. The Aufsichtsrat der Ostasiatischen Generalverwaltung, or Supervisory Board of the East Asian General Administration, manages numerous ships, factories, and even informal concessions which violate the spirit, if not the letter, of the 1928 agreement. Ultimately, Berlin would like us to use China as a buffer of sorts against Japan. Every soldier spent there is one who cannot be deployed against us in Malaya or under China. To that end, China's government and the LEP must be supported. I'm pro-China and my goal is to fuck with Japan. Uh, superior firepower. We're small. I'm probably gonna do infantry only. And Black Monday hits me. Did he buy the deep? Yes, he bought it. Finishy. So we're kind of fucked economically, which kind of doesn't hurt because they have low economy. With the economy collapse, major companies such as Krupp and Hapak and Lloyd have begun to go under. A bailout is one of the few things that could keep these companies from going bankrupt, but this is very costly. Uh, one thing I learned about before is if you take a negative thing, it gets positive later, so I'm actually going to bail them out. Again, I lose my my economy, which is not existing, so who cares? At 2115 of the night of February 11, 1926, that was five days ago, a Guilin fire station received an alarm call that the head office, the assembly location of the Ostchina Directorium was ablaze. A Chinese naturalist tried to burn it. The lead of eight... Oh, we have a war here. Radical socialist. They must hate me, man. Is fighting... Wait, hey, Chen. Should I help him? Shandong declared war. Okay, there's a massive China war. Who do I support? I mean, I don't really own anything. I kind of support this guy, right? Oh, here he has a collaboration with me. So I am for this guy. I actually have a volunteer, mon frère. Oh, let's go. 
I got you, boy. I just finished the Guangzhou Crisis. As the League of Eight Provinces spirals into complete collapse, the breakaway nations seek advice to expel us from our rightful land. The newly formed Yang Guang clique has seized our concessions of Guangzhou. Denying us access to the vital port. We now have two options to negotiate with the government themselves or force them. Wait, he took my shit? Dude, he took my shit! I think I didn't build a sift there. Take back Xiamen. Oh, they even took Xiamen from me. Oh, they're fucking me over. I have to make sure that Yellow wins this war. That's what needs to happen right now. That's what needs to happen now. And he just... The complete eradication of the Nanjing clique, the chapter of Germany's influence in China appears to have hit a major wall. We're doing our best to absorb the displaced Nanjing administration or concessions, but the reality of the loss of our main Chinese allies is hard to come to grips with. The AOG stands vigilant, though, and the German East Asian administration keeps tabs on the breakaways that have appeared of the League of Absence. You never can make them win, they always lose. That sounds actually good. Even throughout this crisis, the current government has survived another day. Falkenhausen has the trust of the people and Germany. With them on the side, the Austrian Dictorum is safe and the status quo lives for another day. I, I want to stay with them, sure. Okay, I liquidated the assets. I'm reconstructing companies. This is kind of fixing my economy, which again, doesn't exist. Reactionary reforms. Since the burning of the head office, the board realizes a change in policy is re required if it's going to improve its fiscal outlook and keep national sentiments in southern and central China control. We have just begun to feel the effects of the Berlin stock market crash, or Black Monday, as it's being called, and we have to resolve the problem it presents and plan for the future. Close the factories that are draining our profits. I'm closing the factories. And now you can see the game is getting insane. Uh, everybody's going crazy, like Poland is becoming communist and shit. Ost Asian Gesellschaft uh, uh, Eingreiftruppe. And that means like uh, OAG shock troopers. Cement German influence. Now the concessions are secure and the position of the Ostchina Directorium is unchallenged. Commissioner for the Hulkenhaus is control. And the Germans are the supreme rulers of the area. Not the Krupp, nor the locals can challenge us anymore. Fuck it, I have to be aggressive. Uh, I'm gonna demand Guangzhou from this guy. I think I improved relation with him, yeah. Oh, he gave it to me. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So what the fuck is that? Southern China has gone astray. We must restore order to the varying states of the South and ensure stability and German dominance over all of China. It is time to tighten our grip around Nanking and eradicate those who want to see China descend into anarchy. The Federalists and the Kuomintang governments are directly a threat to our power and must be taken out. This sounds like war. So, what did that do? Oh, I have, I have decisions. I have decisions. At 100 PP, I can evade people. Okay, I gotta attack this fucker, Anqing. I uh, with seven divisions, man. I'm gonna be fun. Should probably try to fight him for points. Chi supply hub is interesting. We're looking really good right now, but I'm getting no points. That's the problem. I get nothing in this war. I gotta be in fights, otherwise this is never gonna work. So let's be in fights, actually. In a way, I don't even want to take the capital. Uh, it's a fight now, because taking capital makes the war be over, and I don't get points. Taking the capital is the worst thing I can actually do. Exactly. See why? Because I get nothing now. That's the point. So, I should have made this guy. Left core in tongue. Okay, get orc. His army is pretty fucking weak. Oh, I actually get a wounded general, man. Fuck. Left core in tongue declared one Shandong. And they're fighting each other, so I don't get much. Even with low orc, I shit on him hard. I can even go medium aggressive. This looks really good. This army is trash. Oh, this guy's trying to cut me off. Oh, this guy's stealing my shit. Fuck. Oh, fuck off. That's not even in circle. Just fight. Because I'm going to lose 40% of this. Am I going down? I am going down. He just has more attacks than me. German military aid will give me so much army. I should probably push for it. I get 1k guns, which is so much for me. Supply is an issue. Supply hub actually. Guangzhou taking that. If I maybe take... Yeah. So, how much are you giving me, mate? Oh, it's not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So this guy, man, this is a big front line, dude. That's like uh, 11 divisions. He's not that strong. This is not his core, right? Colony state. So if I just rush him from the north, I actually win, right? It's a bit risky, but fuck it. Let's go! That's really good. Dude, we just took his capital instantly. GG. Fuck yeah. Dude. 
AOG boy. So now I need to take that communist guy. Ah, that doable. I need to core that shit though. Otherwise I get rebellion into oblivion. It's, it's not so easy, man. You gotta kill all the Chinese. Supply? Yeah. Maybe just really focus on taking the, the coastline. They have an ally. Oh shit, they fucking do. Okay, I need 100 PP ASAP. Oh, Japan going... Ah, fuck. I have a good army though. 20 worth of shovels is for China. That's really good. Careful here though, but we're collecting them. We're just wrecking them. My technology is just too hard. They really have no chance, to be honest. I don't even need to micro much. Let's make a connection here. Oh, man, I fucking knew this is gonna happen. Oh, fuck me. I'm a fucking idiot. Did you get encircled once on the stream, man? Chat always like... Ah! Ah! Okay, killing this is big. Fucking push for it, because they're un unsupported. Let's probably unite this front line. We're having some breakthroughs, unfortunately. I need to finish this stuff pretty soon. Let's just bring this front line together, man. Come on here. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. I don't like this. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, my God. Ooh, I need to finish this. That's what matters. Equipment is great. That's good. This needs to end. When this is ended, I win the war. Finish it. And now we gotta hold a bit, man. This one could be big. Ooh. Ooh. Oops. That's good. Two kills. In the north, I'm kind of just surviving, man. They're getting really strong now. Like, fuck me. Reinforcements are arriving. They're recruits, though, untrained. What to do? What to do? United Front. Something is happening in China, huh? I would ignore it all. I just want to kill. I just want to be the boss. Can you read or not, Randy? Of course I can fucking read. Randolph, just read this. Can't read it? I can't read. You can't read. I can't read. Eh? I'm not at war with this guy, am I? Okay. Whoa. Oh, I'm at war with everyone. Whoa. Okay. What? Why? Okay, that's GG, man. Japan can save us a bit, but we're gonna get... Yeah, dude, I'm probably dead, man. I'm dead anyway, so I'll just try and only move. If I take Gulien, eh, it must be so close. Oof, okay. Good. And now I just hold until Japan saves my ass, huh? But then Japan gets everything. Ah, everything is fucked, man. I didn't know that they make a united front and just shit on me like this. Okay, what? I, I, uh, who is encircled now, bitches? What? Well, me. <laughs> Japan, you got this. The best way is to just wait for Japan right now. And then later you just fight Japan. Ay, 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 I'm not gonna take much, am I? Okay, we're taking the coast. Oh, I'm already out. I'm already getting kicked. I got a bit of stuff, though. So I have fun killing Japan. Let's not fuck with Tibet. How am I gonna beat Japan? I could make a massive 20 with protection and then try to blitzkrieg Japan, but building up air and paratroopers will take years. I kind of want to finish this content today, so I might just cheat and roleplay a deal where he gives me what I need. <laughs> Let me swallow it, daddy. Oh. I, I made a deal with Japan. Tommy cheating. Guangzhong, Baoding, Yingzhao. We have restored German hegemony over China. The anti-concessionists have been dealt with. Nanqing has been completely absorbed into our sphere, and the South is once again under our complete control. We have for granted an unstoppable grip over China, and blah blah blah. Gets event, the Chinese Kaiserreich, and I free myself with the triumphant rise of German influence in China. Through their intermediary in the AOG, these Europeans have wrestled total control of the nation and its people. As more and more Chinese citizens are entangled into the German sphere, the dominance of the Kaiserreich has only grown more apparent, and as a result, more of our citizens see the Germans as the legitimate governing force in our borders over all others. Many within our administration have now begun to push the situation to what they consider its natural conclusion, the forming declaration of a German kingdom in China. Though most find this idea absolutely prosperous, with our dominance and power, we could fucking do it. Don't be ridiculous. Perhaps even these distant lands can bear witness our Kaiser's grace. A new face sits atop the dragon throne. Give Puji the throne? Or some other guy? Excuse me? Chinesisches Kaiserreich. Bailian. 
It's cool out there. It's a Kaiser guy. Though still sitting on the throne thousands of miles away in Berlin, Kaiser Wilhelm is also ascended to the role of Emperor of China. With the Mandate of Heaven thinly backing up his claim to rule and the might of both the AOG and the Chinese Revolutionary Force behind him, Kaiser Weilian's rule has been solidified and his position on the Dragon Throne cemented. From abroad and deep within the Forbidden Palace, the Kaiser of the Chinese Kaiserreich has become the symbol of German dominance over Asia. Still no new Focus 3 though. That's okay.